Okay, this is this is not even this is not even funny anymore. 12, 12 a.m. Really, this is when we want to release more information on Sonic. It it is literally like it's only the Sonic movie. It is only the Sonic movie that does this to me. It's like so. Anyways, yes, it is literally 12 a.m. and you guys decide to release information on the next Sonic movie. Whatever. I, I can't believe this. So I apologize if I'm talking a bit quieter in this video because everyone in my house is sleeping as normal people do during this time. But luckily for me, I'm not normal and I'm still up so I get to do this. Um, really, 12 a.m.? Anyways, if you told me back in February when the original Sonic movie released that we would have new information on the next Sonic movie before we got information on the next mainline Sonic game, I wouldn't have believed you. I would have thought you were crazy. Uh, but here we are. Not only did we get new information that the next Sonic movie is happening, but we also have literally the release date for the next Sonic movie before an even announcement of a next mainline Sonic game. What is happening? So yes, if you guys recall about two months ago, uh, I did a video on them announcing that there is indeed a Sonic movie 2 sequel. Sonic movie 2. A Sonic movie sequel. I'm tired. A Sonic movie sequel in the works at Paramount. And you know, I gave kind of like my wish list of things I wanted. Like, for example, I wanted them to take, I wanted the, the movie to primarily take place now in Sonic's world. You know, I wanted it to go deeper in the lore of Sonic the Hedgehog. I want there to be more Chaos Emerald stuff. Maybe go deeper in the lore of the Echidna tribe. Uh, maybe even get closer to other characters like Tails and Knuckles. So, you know, see how they play a role in this. Does Eggman trick Knuckles? Stuff like that. And all of that was covered in the last video on the Sonic movie. So uh, I'll leave uh, a link in the description if you missed that one. And now we have some breaking news. Thanks to Variety who released this just a bit ago. That they have a planned release date for the sequel to the Sonic movie to be released around April 8th 2022 and you know I, uh, I did look at what the date lands on and sadly it lands on a Friday and not a Tuesday like I originally wanted I was kind of hoping they would go for the Sonic Tuesday moniker for their marketing like they did with Sonic 2 on the Genesis back in 1992 but don't get me wrong I still hope that they still use some of the monikers that were used for the advertisements of that game like they could still use like are you up to it you know uh, you know stuff like that uh, for marketing this movie I really hope they they hone in on that uh, 1992 marketing strategy that Sega used for the Sonic 2 on Sega Genesis I think it would be perfect for this movie since again this movie is introducing uh, or showing off Tails most likely uh, more of Tails uh, that is so just like Sonic 2 they should do that for the Sonic movie too I think it would be really cool and I still hope they still do something with that I mean how the movie apparently does come out 2022 so you have some twos in there so do some uh, two jigamahiggy thing with the marketing with that number i don't know i'm not you know marketing major or anything like that but yeah regardless uh you know april 8th 2022 is the release today and honestly it doesn't seem that far away in the grand scope of things you know and that could honestly scare a few people and be a bit of a negative already to some people because you know our original hope for the sequel is that we're going to see more Sonic's world and they'll be you know mainly animated and stuff like that and if that was the case that would mean more animation more characters more of the world would mean uh, a longer animation time hence that would mean a longer production schedule so for the sake of getting an idea of what to expect let's compare you know the production schedule that we know of from the first movie and see what we can do and just get an idea of what we can do uh, for the second movie. So I did take some notes for this part so we can go through uh, the production schedule of the first film. So in the first film, they started filming uh, around the summer of 2018, I believe in July, and we got the teaser poster about five months after they filmed in December of 2018, that amazing teaser poster, if you guys remember. And the film was planned to release 11 months after that poster, after that poster originally released. Remember, it was going to originally be released November 8th 2019 again before the whole redesign and the delay and all of that you know craziness you know I don't have to go over that again 
that'd be beating a dead horse. So hypothetically, uh, the movie before the redesign was going to take about uh, 16 months or about 495 days from the time to film to release the movie, uh, give or take. So if we take what we know now for the plans for the sequel, which started I think around May 28th, 2020, and we uh, take the set release date that we know now, which is April 8th, 2022. That means we could take today's date, which is July 24th at the time of this recording, and we can estimate that the time window for production as of right now is about uh, one year and eight months or roughly 623 days to complete the sequel. So if you take the 623 days that we have now to complete the sequel and subtract it from the 495 days they had to complete the last movie after they got done filming, that means that they would have to start filming within the next 128 days to have more time or more production time than the original film. Now keep in mind that, you know, I have no idea how filmmaking works. Um, you know, I would assume that they would start making a lot more of the CGI in the world after they would have filmed and stuff like that, you know, the real life stuff. Uh, but again, I don't know how stuff works and that's just my guess on how things work there. But given today's climate, you know, I don't think they're gonna start filming early or within this 128 day window considering what's happening with, you know, COVID-19. And I'm sure they already, you know, calculated for that and they plan on having a film set after all this craziness is hopefully over. So I would say to be safe, I would say that this, the sequel will probably have the same uh, production time as the last film. And that doesn't mean that they can't add more CGI or they can't have more Sonic's World now with the same production time. You know, I think again, if they have, if they had a demand for more CGI stuff, they'll probably get more, uh, you know, workers to make CGI. Or hell, they probably already started. We know that they uh, were, you know, planning this a while ago, and they already have ideas of what to do. So they probably have a lot of assets they could use, and they could probably, again, start a lot of the CGI and a lot of the, you know, the world for Sonic now. So our hope for having a, lo a lot of the movie take place in Sonic's world is not dead. Uh, and honestly, I wouldn't say, and just to be safe, you know, they have a lot of live action actors. They're probably not gonna be in Sonic's world most of the time like we would probably want. I think it's safe to say that the movie will probably be a good 50-50, like 50% in the human world, 50% live action, and 50% uh, Sonic's world. And honestly, I'd be okay with that. If it was a 50-50, you know, uh, balance between the two worlds, uh, I would be happy with that. And again, from what I've seen, uh, based off of what I looked online, it usually takes around three years or so to make a fully animated uh, CGI movie. So uh, again, I, I think that solidifies the fact that this movie is not going to be mainly in Sonic's world. It's safe to say it's not going to be mainly in Sonic's world. It's probably going to be more of a 50-50 live action and CGI. And again, you know, things are prone to change. This is such early development. I mean, you guys saw how much changed, you know, in the original film over the, the last few months of that movie's production schedule. So again, things are prone to change. And and, you know, again, no matter what, th this movie, I'm, I'm hyped for it. I'm hyped for, you know, seeing this with my friends again. I'm see I'm hyped for everything. I'm hyped to see more of the world and the lore. Even if it does take place mainly in the human world, it's probably not going to be a deal breaker for me, okay? Sonic has been around humans a lot, you know, in the adventure games. He's in a human world. So it's not a big deal, but I definitely would love to see more of Sonic's world. And I, I hope we get that 50-50 split. There is a little something I do want to mention, though. A couple days ago, uh, Mega64 on Twitch uh, did an interview with Tyson Hess. And if you guys know Tyson Hess, he's the one that redesigned Sonic for the original Sonic movie. And also did the opening animation for, you know, Sonic Mania and such like that. And he's been with Sonic ever since. Um, he did a small interview with them and nothing crazy or big was revealed there, obviously, because Tyson has, uh, you know, wouldn't give anything, you know, away like that, uh, nor should he. Uh, but uh, there was an interesting tidbit he did mention uh, when they asked about the Sonic movie. And he mentioned something along the lines of, you know, uh, the first movie was a good setup and that the goal for the director and the writers are to make it uh, more Sonic-y in a sense. I'll show you guys this clip now if I could find it, uh, but it is a little interesting to hear. I can't give you Sonic news, obviously, okay. here. Um, Fair they, they have announced that a sequel is coming, obviously. Cool. Um, I think everyone kind of saw that one coming, so that's great. Um, I obviously can't share any details on that, but it's nice that 
you know, what, what was set up in the first one, um, I, I think the, the directors and the writers really have high hopes and, and high goals mm -hmm. set for the sequel to really even make it more, more sonic-y. Um, cool. So I think, you know, it's, it's nice to have a franchise movie like this take off and, and be liked and not just be another one to throw in the pile of video game movies that nobody cares about. Sure. So yeah, so we have the uh, release date for the next Sonic movie, April 8th, 2022. I'm hyped for it. Let me know in the comments uh, what you guys are excited for and what, what you guys hope to see in this movie. Again, if you guys have not seen my original video uh, from two months ago uh, when they announced the Sonic movie sequel, go ahead and watch that. And yeah, for all things Sonic the Hedgehog uh, related or all things Sonic the Hedgehog movie sequel related, you know, stick to this channel. I always love to ride this hype train with you guys and discuss uh, the more we learn about the film. And honestly, after the first Sonic movie, you know, the production of, of that movie was, you know, uh, uh, something that the entire world witnessed. Everyone saw that, you know, it's amazing what happens when fans, uh, you know, when, when a movie studio listens to the fans and takes feedback and I, I'm, I'm excited to see where this, this sequel goes because I think I think my hunch is that, you know, the movie writers know now that sticking close to the source material is the safest bet and will probably make the audience happy. So uh, Patrick Casey, the team, everyone at Paramount and Sega uh, that are uh, working on this film or plan to work on this film soon when the world stops uh, catching fire. I, you know, I wish you guys the best of luck and uh, I'm excited. So thank you guys so much for watching this. And uh, yeah, this is Sam signing out. See you later, procrastinators. I'm going to go to bed now.